my dear friends, life's challenges can often feel like an overwhelming mountain. We've all experienced moments when our strength falters and our wisdom seems insufficient. Today, we're going to explore a powerful truth that can transform your life. A truth that can bring serenity to your troubled mind and vigor to your weary spirit. We'll reflect on what it truly means to leave everything in God's hands. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Zephaniah 3 verse 17, we find these words of comfort. The Lord your God in your midst, the Mighty One, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with His love. He will rejoice over you with singing. This verse reminds us of God's constant presence and His joyful love for us. Now, let us look at how we can embrace this truth by surrendering control. My friends, letting go of control is often easier said than done. We live in a world that values self-reliance and personal achievement. Yet true peace comes when we release our grip and trust in God's plan. Think of a skilled potter shaping clay on a wheel. The clay doesn't resist or try to form itself. It yields to the potter's skilled hands, becoming a beautiful vessel. Similarly, when we surrender to God, He shapes us into something beautiful. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, we find a powerful promise. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. God's thoughts toward us are of peace and hope. He sees the bigger picture that we often miss. When we try to control every aspect of our lives, we limit ourselves. We operate within the confines of our own understanding and abilities. But when we surrender to God, we tap into His infinite wisdom and power. Consider the story of Saul, who became the Apostle Paul. He thought he was doing right by persecuting Christians. But when he surrendered to God's will, his life was transformed. He became one of the most influential figures in Christian history. Surrendering to God doesn't mean becoming passive. It means aligning our will with His, trusting His guidance in every decision. It's about acknowledging that God's ways are higher than ours. When we leave everything in God's hands, we find true freedom. Freedom from anxiety about the future. Freedom from the burden of trying to control everything. Freedom to live fully in the present, trusting God with what's to come. So today, I challenge you to loosen your grip. Release your worries, your plans, your dreams into God's capable hands. Trust that He who created the heavens and the earth can certainly handle your life. Let us now turn our attention to trusting God's perfect timing. My dear friends, waiting on God's timing can be a test of faith. In our modern world, we often want instant results. But God's clock doesn't always align with our impatient hearts. Consider the life of Moses, a man who learned to trust God's timing. He spent 40 years in the wilderness before God called him to lead. During that time, God was preparing him for a greater purpose. In Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1, we read, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't match our expectations. When we leave everything in God's hands, we trust His timing too. We acknowledge 
that he sees the full picture of our lives. He knows what we need and when we need it. Sometimes, God's delays are actually his protection. He may be shielding us from unseen dangers or preparing us for blessings. Other times, his timing allows for growth and maturity in our faith. Think of a farmer planting seeds. He doesn't dig them up every day to check their progress. He trusts the process, knowing that in due time, the harvest will come. Similarly, we must trust God's process in our lives. When we try to rush God's timing, we often create unnecessary stress. We may miss out on the lessons and growth He intends for us. But when we surrender our timelines to Him, we find peace. We can rest in the knowledge that God is working behind the scenes. He's orchestrating events and aligning circumstances for our good. This doesn't mean we become passive or lazy. Instead, we actively seek God's will and work diligently. But we do so with an open hand, ready for God to redirect us. We trust that His timing is perfect, even when it feels slow to us. So today, I urge you to release your timeline to God and trust that He can handle your schedule. Now, let us focus on the power of faith. My friends, faith is the cornerstone of our relationship with God. It's the bridge between our limited perspective and God's infinite wisdom. When we leave everything in God's hands, we're exercising true faith. In Hebrews 11 verse 1, we find a powerful definition of faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith allows us to trust God, even when we can't see the outcome. It's believing that God is working even in the midst of uncertainty. Consider the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three young men faced a fiery furnace for their faith. They didn't know if God would save them, but they trusted Him regardless. Their faith wasn't in the outcome, but in God's character. When we leave everything in God's hands, we display similar faith. We trust not in our desired outcomes, but in God's goodness and love. This kind of faith has the power to transform our lives. It frees us from the burden of trying to control everything. Instead, we can rest in God's capable hands, knowing He cares for us. Faith also empowers us to take bold steps for God. When we trust Him completely, we're willing to follow His leading. We can step out of our comfort zones, knowing God is with us. Think of Peter, stepping out of the boat to walk on water. His faith allowed him to do the impossible, as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. Similarly, when we keep our focus on God, our faith grows stronger. We begin to see life's challenges as opportunities for God to work. Every difficulty becomes a chance to trust Him more deeply. This doesn't mean life will be easy or problem-free, but it does mean we have a solid foundation in the storms of life. We can face uncertainty with confidence, knowing God is in control. So today, I challenge you to strengthen your faith. Choose to trust God, even when you can't see the way forward. Believe that He who began a good work in you will bring it to completion. Let's continue to grow in faith, leaving everything in God's capable hands. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me or listen to this prayer in faith so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, 
You are the one who sits on the throne, clothed in majesty and might. You hold the whole world in your hands, and by your word all things exist and are sustained. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the God who reigns supreme over every circumstance. There is none like you, O Lord, full of glory and power. You are the God who makes a way when there seems to be no way, and in you all things are possible. I lift your name, High Lord, for you are worthy of all praise and honor. Your greatness is beyond comprehension, and your faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Father, I thank you for your endless mercy and grace. Thank you for your loving kindness that has kept me through every trial and challenge. You are my refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. I am grateful, Lord, for all you have done and continue to do in my life. Lord, I acknowledge that I have fallen short of your glory. Forgive me for every sin and for every moment I tried to take control of my life instead of leaving it in your hands. I forgive those who have wronged me, just as you have forgiven me, and I release them into your hands, trusting that you will work all things for good. Lord, I surrender all to you right now. I lay down my burdens, my worries, and my fears, for I know that you are in control. I trust you with every aspect of my life, knowing that nothing is too difficult for you. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and anxiety in the name of Jesus. I bind every plan of the enemy that seeks to bring confusion and discouragement. And I declare in the name of Jesus that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard my heart and mind. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. I trust you, Lord, to handle every situation that I cannot fix, every battle that I face, and every burden too heavy for me to carry. Lord, I place my trust fully in your hands. I know that you are a God of perfect timing, and I release my need for control and understanding. I am grateful that your plans for me are good, plans to give me a future and a hope. Lord, I declare that I will not lean on my own understanding. I ask for your blessing upon my life, that I may walk in the fullness of what you have destined for me. Bless me with strength, wisdom, and discernment as I navigate through the challenges of life. Bring healing to my body, soul, and spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every attack of the enemy, every sickness, every financial burden, every emotional wound, and every stronghold in my life. I declare freedom and healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for your divine protection to surround me. Guard me with your mighty hand, and let your angels be encamped around me day and night. Father, I pray for these same blessings of peace, healing, and protection over my loved ones. Strengthen them, Lord, and help them to trust you with all their hearts. Let your presence be with them in every situation, and may they see your hand at work in their lives. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory over every scheme of the enemy that comes against us, and I rebuke every plan that seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. In the name of Jesus, I speak life and abundance over myself and my loved ones. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, 
I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we lift our voices to you, knowing that you hear us. Lord, we surrender every worry, every challenge, and every concern into your hand. We ask for your guidance, your peace, and your wisdom as we trust in your perfect plan. We declare healing in the name of Jesus, and we claim victory over every obstacle. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit that is working within us, leading us into all truth and empowering us to trust you completely. We ask for your protection over our lives and the lives of our loved ones, and we thank you for the peace that comes when we leave everything in your hands. Let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.